Hello everyone, Marilyn here from Jazzy's Creation and Design and today we will be working on sublimation markers with Artist Free and here are some of the blanks that they provide. Not all blanks work the same but I definitely will vouch for the ones that they have available on their website. And you will also need a Cricut Easy Press or an iron will work as well. Let's start! Let's get started. What are you doing? For I'm making backyard for me. She's storing a backyard for herself. Mm -hmm. Can we give it to Grandma Jenny? Um, Jake did that one. Okay, you you made her card for Grandma. Okay. Hi yep. guys, we're making gifts. Yep. I and have before here. we do, we gotta get started. Can you show us what markers you're using? We're using rainbow markers. Rainbow markers. Look, the one, two, three, anything you want to make with markers. Okay. You make flowers, my okay. bees. Okay. So here's a quick version of what we're doing. She drew something and I ironed it on a blank bag and I absolutely love it. She drew me and I am in love. This is just an absolutely great gift to be making with your kids. So you can also see that I am resaving the um, heat tape because it can be used later if the ink didn't get on it. So I am just unwrapping the tote from the packaging from Artist Free and I'm getting ready to place the image but first I want to make sure I clean my easy press or iron with just a wipe um, to make sure there's no ink. And then I am going to iron it, iron the tote bag just to get like a flat surface. Plus it makes it look nicer when everything is ironed out. So I'm at 290 degrees um, with the easy press. So the hotter, the better. As you can see, I these are the reuse tapes that I use. They're heat tape. You can also get these available with um, Artist Brie website. And so she drew on both sides and realized that it doesn't matter. It's only going to heat what's on the bottom of the page but that's why I wanted to make sure I clean my um, iron my Cricut because sometimes the ink can transfer and if you do another project it might add the ink to that so just make sure you clean your materials so while you're doing this and transferring the ink always make sure that it's transferring everything so just Take a corner and take a look without untaping the paper. And so the longer the iron is on the paper, the brighter the colors will come out. So I think I did this for about five minutes and I think it looks great. I don't want to overdo it or get too dark because I kind of wanted to add um, a name over it. So you'll see that towards the end. So I'm at 300 degrees and just been moving the easy pressed back and forth. But I think um, it's done. And I just want to let you guys know that this is such a cute project. Um, to share with grandmas or any relatives because you know if you have an artist at home who loves to draw um, I'm unplugging everything because I'm getting ready to clean up So 
So here is the final reveal of the bag. It looks absolutely so cute. Um, my favorite part is my daughter, that she's going to be like, I did that. Those are flowers. Create your own, add some vinyl, hand draw it, add glitter. There are so many ways you can make this beautiful gift. So we are putting the pens down so the ink can go all the way down, okay? Ink go down? Mm-hmm. I can draw flowers. You can draw flowers, trees, you can draw whatever you want. Thank you for watching.